can we have vectors with more than two components? Well, probably we can because we live in a 3D world. So in order to describe phenomena in real life, we'll need vectors with three components. And it becomes even better. We can make vectors with four, five, six, any number of components. How does that work? Well, that is what you will see in this web lecture. So we had already vectors with two components here. A equals A1, A2. In the X, Y plane, with components A1 and A2. So how do we continue this? R3, we can continue by making three axes, a X, a Y, and a Z axis, and now my vector will have three components, A1, A2, A3, vector A over here. Can we go even further? Well, first of all, we will not be able to draw that. We cannot make figures with four axes. And another problem, the alphabet is at the end, X, Y, Z. So how should we continue? Well, first of all, we shouldn't call the axis X and Y or X, Y and Z, but for example, X1, X2 and X3. Because if we call the axis like that, we can go on. And then there is no problem to continue. If I want to make a vector U in Rn, I just have a U with N components instead of two or three. We can do the same computations, we can add them, we can do scalar multiplication. Well, we cannot draw them, of course, but we can also do computations with bigger vectors. So U and Rn has N components, any components you like. One point where you need to be careful, that's this very last point. Here, just back to R2 to make the drawing a bit easier. We have here again our vector A from the origin to the point P. Well, the point P has components A1, A2, so that's the point, and the vector starting at the origin going towards P, A is the vector with components A1 and A2. And now, in many applications, the point P, which is a point in the plane, and the vector A going from the origin towards P are used interchangeably. So people uh, use the a vector to denote the point and vice versa. So here you need to be a bit careful, you have to look at the text. When people are talking about factors, they sometimes mean the point and vice versa. But well, now you are warned, so you will have no problems with that in your textbooks.